Alexa, play Meat Mill Dangerous. You feel the vibe is contagious. Look in your eyes, it is dangerous. Grateful I had all the patience. I know you going through some changes. You taking pictures, know your angles. Ooh, no, we ain't perfect, but we them close. Ooh, you give me something I can pay for. No angel, but you got a halo. When it's nights like this, I really wanna be right here. Look at him. Look at him, mama, man. Look at him. Huh. That ain't my. That ain't my. That ain't my girl. That's my nigga. Catch me out on Ocean Drive with him. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how I make a wig. So, in this clip, I'm just showing you the lengths that I purchased. And with this hair comes the hair care instructions card, eyelashes, and a choker. So, first and foremost, this is not a sponsored video. I purchased this hair with my own money, but this is LA Pro Brazilian Stray Hair. And this is my second time purchasing. I love this hair so much. So silky and beautiful. So, what you're going to need is a wig cap, scissors, a mannequin head, needle, and of course, thread okay so let's get started <laughs> so I'm just gonna put the wig cap on the mannequin's head and then I'm gonna be taking my closure and lining it up at the beginning of the wig cap and I also forgot to mention that you're gonna need some pins to hold down the closure while you're sewing Girl, would you hurry up? Okay, so now in this clip, I'm just showing you how I loop the thread and the needle. I kind of went out of frame just a little bit, but you want to put your needle, I mean your thread through the needle, pull that thread through and tie a knot at the end. I don't think I showed that part, but it's plenty of videos that will show you all how to tie your thread. Sorry about that, guys. So now what I'm doing is basically going through the closure and through the wig cap. My hand is in the way, but you will be able to see it shortly. And you're just gonna pretty much follow this same method around the entire perimeter of the closure. Oh yeah, and by the way guys, I was watching YouTube because sis, like I said, this is beginners friendly, so yeah, your girl was kind of struggling. <laughs> and it was also pretty hard trying to record, but I did try my best, guys. So just bear with me and continue to watch.
Okay, so now that I am approaching the end of the closure, to knot it, I'm just going to take it through about two or three times and just loop it to ensure that this thing does not come loose. Now after that, I'm going to cut off the excess thread and tie a knot. Look at that, it's not bad at all, right? It's pretty good. So basically I'm just gonna sew the other side off camera and this is what we have. So I'm gonna tie this away so I can start sewing on my bundles. So this is a 28 inch and this is what we're gonna start with. <laughs> okay, so I'm j literally just gonna Ooh, my edges okay but I'm gonna just place the track ear to ear now we're gonna go through the track weft and through the cap now you really want to be careful and make sure that you only go through the first layer of the cap because if you go all the way through your cap will not stretch so as you can see I'm only going through the top layer and pulling that thread straight through And you're just going to continue sewing all the way around. Yeah, I promise this video took me so long because I was really struggling trying to make this wig. This is my first time using this cap. I'm, I usually use the neck cap, but I've been seeing so many people use the spandex cap, so I felt like it would be better. And it would be a perfect fit for my big head, so yeah. But yeah, just keep sewing, just keep sewing. Okay, here what I'm doing is just flipping that track over. I do not like to cut my wefts because I like to preserve them, honey, okay? Don't cut your tracks. Now, same thing, I'm just going to go through the track and through the cap and pull it straight through. And we're just going to do that around the entire head.
Okay, so we got the first bundle sewn in and I was so happy that I made it this far because in the end, you're going to notice, I started struggling. So we got three more bundles to go. 26 inch, let's get it started. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did with the last bundle. However, I'm going to double the wefts so that I can make this process go a little bit faster. Now it's the same concept, you just put your needle through both wefts and go through the cap. And just take your time. Through the wefts, through the cap and pull. Okay, come on, pull it. There we go. See, I was just struggling. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna continue to go. Okay, so I like to comb out the little nappies because that's not cute. And then guess what we're going to do? Yep, we're going to flip that track around and keep sewing. Now, a mistake I think I made from this point is I feel like I could have brought the tracks down a little bit lower. But, you know, you make mistakes and you learn. I'm going to just be sewing the tracks straight across. So at this point, yes, I'm going to start cutting them. And I didn't really record that part because it's self-explanatory. But this is the finished result. And right here, I'm just combing everything down just to show you. You can't see any tracks. And this is what the inside of the wig looked like. And this is what the hair looks like. Now, I haven't bleached the closure yet, but I will be doing that whenever I get a chance to. Lastly, you just want to cut out the inside of that cap that is underneath the lace closure. Be very careful because you do not want to cut any of the thread because your wig <laughs> is going to unravel. So yes, just cut, cut, cut. Bam, and we done. And this whole process took me about two hours. And right now I'm just combing it and just look. Sis, for me to be a beginner, this is popping. If I could do it, you could do it. <laughs> okay, look at this. Watch this, y'all. Look at this hair. Okay, period. <laughs> but yes, look at this closure. Without it even being bleached, it is popping. And then this is just me looking ugly. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.